Hi, I'm Chris Thompson uh, for Investor Intel, and today I'm here with Brent Willis, the CEO of Voyager Pharmaceuticals, ticker VM on the uh, TSX Ventures Exchange. How are you doing today, Brent? Doing great. Thanks for having me on. You've had a very busy year so far this year. Lots of uh, news uh, and product releases with your company. I think the, the first and foremost, we should talk about your recent financing, uh, which, you, you, which you've just closed. Yeah, we had uh, great success on our financing. We closed just over 1.5 million. We're uh, all ready to move forward uh, using that those funds to advance our company. It's been a really great start. Yeah, and so what uh, what are you primarily going to use those funds for over the next year? Well, we have uh, allocated for several things. Uh, most importantly, is our product rollouts, uh, getting our products to market. Uh, the second is our uh, preliminary economic assessment on our Francis Creek project, which is uh, the main ingredient for our barium sulfate uh, contrast that we're putting to market. And those are our main two focuses right now. Great. So maybe let's dive uh, deep into the product then. Uh, what product are you, are you bringing to market? Our first product we're going to bring to market is called SmoothX. So these products are used in uh, x-rays and CT scans. And uh, we've identified uh, the market in the United States uh, for CT abdominal scans for oral contrast is roughly around $188 million. So our first product going to market is going to be penetrating that market. Um, and we call that our SmoothX brand. Uh, so that's our main focus right now. Uh, we just started working with the FDA as of June 1st. They changed the designation for barium sulfate from a device or from a drug to a device. And uh, that has changed our, uh, our budget constraints and has allowed us to free up more cash other, other places. And uh, once we get the uh, FDA device uh, applications completed, we're looking at uh, penetrating the US markets in uh, early next year or, or mid next year. Now you have at least uh, five different products. And what are these products primarily used for uh, they have each product has a, a specific market it's used in, and it's all related to uh, uh, scanning of your uh, from your throat uh, all the way to the other end of your body. So it's uh, your your stomach, your upper and lower gastrointestinal tract. Uh, they do uh, dysphagia swallows for uh, on X-rays. So there's multiple different uh, markets for our products. They're used to contrast against uh, your, your organs to determine whether you have a, a tumor or any other types of issues that's going on within your body. So it's a growing market. And uh, we believe that we're gonna be coming out with products that are more competitive and more advanced than what's currently on the market. So let's, let's touch on that then. So what is currently in the market and how do your uh, products uh, are more advantageous, and I guess that maybe perhaps meeting a demand out there. Well, we have the uh, one. We have the only uh, natural barium sulfate deposit that makes great for pharmaceuticals outside of China. So uh, all our other competitors are using uh, uh, synthetically man-made barium sulfate, which is much more expensive. But it also allows us to tweak our particle size distribution and also a little few things with our formulations to allow us to create our products to match up with the advancement in the CT market, for example, where our competitors haven't done any advancement over the last 20 years. So we have identified uh, a lot of opportunity for us to move forward and create better products in a, in a marketplace that globally is really controlled by one company, so. Yeah, and, and geographically, where is this source located? It's in uh, British Columbia, Canada, and uh, it sits right off side of a road. It's uh, got all the infrastructure in place. It's uh, been drilled and is NI43-101 compliant, and uh, we're moving forward with a preliminary economic assessment on it. And from there, we will build out our quarry and our production facility. With the, uh, the Health Canada approvals, how are you going to transition from being uh, you know, into a manufacturing uh, company? Well, we, we look at it as we're a pharmaceutical company that has our own source of feedstock for our products. So we're focused on barium contrast and iodine contrast. And we, we know that we can fully integrate both spaces. Uh, we're starting with our barium sulfate. So 
we, we have no middleman in the supply chain. We are, we are direct from the earth to the bottle is what we, our slogan. And uh, I think that really defines the, the whole concept of our business plan because we're looking at coming to market with the lowest ingredient costs in the market. And, and when, when do you think you'll see some revenue hit the, uh, the bottom line? Our goal is uh, Q1 uh, of next year. Uh, obviously we'll try to get that done earlier, but uh, to be conservative Q1 of 2022. And you mentioned international expansion with uh, getting FDA approval in the United States. Are you going after other international markets? Yeah, we have interest uh, from all over the world. We've been receiving phone calls since we've uh, had our Health Canada approvals announced. And uh, we're talking to several distribution companies in countries all over the world. Everybody is looking for a second option, uh, a new supply chain that uh, will help uh, diversify their businesses. That's great. Um, so what can uh, investors look forward to for the rest of the year from you? Well, it's uh, an exciting year for us. We uh, obviously the product rollout as that moves forward, uh, we're gonna have some announcements on that. Uh, pending contracts obviously will be coming down the pipeline. Our PEA, which uh, we expect will be completed uh, come September is our goal. And uh, once we have that, then we're gonna be uh, looking at building our facilities and uh, putting this whole project in full production. That's great. Uh, thank you for your time today. Uh, this has been Chris Thompson speaking with Brett Willis, CEO of Voyager Pharmaceuticals. Ticker is VM on the TSX Venture Exchange. Have a great day. Thank you.